Do you think women are equal to men? In certain respects, women are superior to men. But I think we're very different. There are certain areas in which a woman will outperform a man, and there are certain areas in which a man will outperform a woman. That makes me a misogynist by modern standards because you can't mention the areas in which a man will outperform a woman. But women are definitely better than men at a lot of things. Like, would you drop your child off at all male daycare? <laughs> I'm a three year old daughter. Would you leave her with 20 men all day? No. It's a dead, question. I don't know. Dead by the afternoon. Well, well, then, well, well, then you believe in gender roles. Why do you believe in gender roles? Well, yeah, I believe women are better, better at certain things and men are better at certain things. Absolutely. Naturally, biologically. Absolutely. So evolutionarily. That, completely. So, so there you go. So now you believe in gender roles, which is the number one thing they hate the most. So when I say there's gender roles and a man should lead because a man is calmer under pressure, then they have a mental breakdown. But, but we have roles in which we perform our best. Right. And I think and I think that everybody with a functioning brain doesn't get offended by that obvious reality, knows it's true. There are certain scenarios where a man will perform better than a woman and certain scenarios where a woman will perform better than a man. And we exist best as a species when the woman does what she's best at and the man does what he's best at. If you have a tailor and an accountant and they want to open a company together, well, that company will be most successful if the tailor makes the clothes and the accountant does the accounting. It's not going to do very well if you try and mix it up or they start arguing with each other saying, I can be an accountant just as well as you can. And the accountant's like, well, I can make a shirt. Now what? You have a mess. And then they fail. And that's what's happening right now in Western society. Why can our countries no longer compete by basically any metric? Well, because everything's a mess. And it's, you go deeper on the rabbit hole. You ask yourself, are they trying to make this mess on purpose? And then you work out they are. Then you work out who they are and all these are bully funded NGOs and why they're doing it, how they're trying to make us all slaves by destroying masculinity. The first thing you have to do if you want to enslave a populace is destroy the people who defend the population, which are always going to be the men because the men fight. The days of old, they come in and just kill all the military age males. Now they just neuter us. Then you have me. When you say neuter us, you mean remove our masculinity. Absolutely. Yeah, they neuter us. We're now, li we're now living in a world where if a man is, rem is remotely masculine in any way, he's attacked for it. If I say my wife isn't allowed to talk to other men, mental breakdowns, they're about to put me on BBC One this morning, all over the front of the Guardian, whoever watches this crap, Andrew Tate's toxically masculine, he's controlling, he's evil in his heart. Why? Because my woman's not allowed to go party with a bunch of dudes? One, she doesn't want to. That's the first thing. She doesn't want to. Secondly, if I had a wife and she said, I want to go party with Mike, and Nathan, I'm like, who, the, who whoa, whoa, who, who's Mike and who's Nathan? No, you're not. And if she says, well, I'm going to do it. I'll say, fine, then you, then I'm not your husband. Goodbye. I'm not going to attack her. I'm not going to beat her up, but I have standards. Once again, they attack masculinity because masculinity is based on parameters and standards. That's what masculinity is. Masculinity has always been traditionally defending a border. Let's go back a couple thousand years. What did the men do? This is our land. You come here, you have to fight us. That's all masculinity ever was. So we're masculinity in and of itself is built around enforcing parameters. And you enforce parameters with your children, in your business, in your relationship, in your, in your friendships. That's what you do as a man. But you're not allowed to now. That's how they attack masculinity. You know, you have to accept everything, especially from women. If you don't accept everything from women all of the time, you're a misogynist. If you have any standards whatsoever, you're a bad person. You're not even allowed standards in how a woman looks. Here, let me get some back to jail. I don't find fat women attractive. If a woman says, I don't find short men attractive, who cares? Nobody. If I say fat women aren't attractive, they're about to put me once again, good morning, fat shaming, to, misogynistic, that they're going to attack me for having a standard. Why am I not allowed a standard as a man? They have standards. In fact, I'd argue women have higher standards than anyone. Ask the average woman on the street what she wants in a man. The average woman. I don't want him to be short. I want him to be rich. I want him to be smart. I want him to be interesting, charismatic. He has to be spontaneous and he has to love my family and he has to love my dog.